What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here with my good friend Rita shooting some Gold 200 on my ETRS here in the Annex neighborhood in Toronto. So actually this is my second time shooting uh, Gold 200 since it came out earlier this year on 120 at least. Um, the first time was back in that Montreal video and if you watch that video then you'll know that um, I didn't get the images back. I'll just put it that way. Um, actually, my Neanderthal brain realized after the fact, just looking at some B-roll, that I left the dark slide in, so it kind of is what it is. Um, I think I'm less upset at that fact just because it's not my first time doing that, actually. Um, I've left the dark slide in many times before. It's, you know, it's just one of those things when you... Well, actually, my first time I did it was with the RZ67, and it's just one of those things you do when you're so excited about shooting that you just completely forget about it until after the shoot um, and either you realize once you finish the roll that like oh fuck I left the dark slide in or you realize once your scans come back and you have no scans um, that's you know you left the dark slide in um, but you know we just love to see the trend of Mr. Rollins fucking things up and making life harder for himself but that's how you learn you make mistakes um, nonetheless uh, we have some beautiful images here. I didn't do that this time. You know, I have the images back. So let me just shut up and share the beautiful images we captured today. I really love the colors that came out of this shoot. Uh, the light was really nice when it worked with us, but it was really challenging. It was one of those awkward kind of weird days where it was partly sunny, partly overcast. So depending on where the cloud coverage was or if the sun was working with us, um, it was just kind of tough to work around. But when the sun was working with us, um, it was really working with us. Um, there's this one image that sticks out to me. Um, I love the tones of this image, having the direct sunlight shine on the inside of Rita's hand, like on the palm, um, and reflect back, you know, the warm tone from the inside of the palm back onto her face is just, I, I just love that. It's just killer. And another one of my favorites from the shoot was this early kind of fall vibe. For whatever reason, there were leaves already on the ground, even though this was late August. Um, but it's really just priming me for the next season to come. I'm really excited just to capture... Uh, you know, these fall vibes.
the first thing that jumps out at me is just the green tones and the way that film stock captures uh, those green colors. I just really love it. They, they tend to be very rich and vibrant. And as green is one of my favorite things to photograph in general, that's something I'm very, very um, excited for and I'm a big fan of. So I've been a long time gold shooter, uh, basically shooting it for as long as I've been shooting film when I started back in early 2019. Um, I shot mainly you know, gold 200 or 400 on 35 millimeter, just because back then it was really cheap and it was kind of like the cheap alternative slash cousin to Portra. Um, but nonetheless, I'm really excited for it to be on 120, even if, you know, I have to sell a kidney to buy film these days because, you know, film prices are kind of just out the wazoo. Um, but I mean, it's still gold 200. It's still cheaper than Portra and the tones are exactly what I remember from, you know, back in 2019. So needless to say that this will be one of my favorites. Shout out to the OG real one. Rita, you know, the number one person I can always come to with a, with a shoot idea or whenever I want to try some new film. The shoots are always so much fun and the images always turn out incredible. So I highly suggest you go check out her work as it's incredible in her own right. Anyways, that's all I've got to say today. I hope you learned something or were just able to chill, sit back and chill with me. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or whenever you decide to watch this.